Now, points and coordinates are great, but that's not all there is. We're going to be spending a lot of time thinking about a fundamental object for multivariable calculus, that is, vectors. Now, maybe you've seen these before, but if not, here's how we're going to think of vectors in Rn. One way to think of them is geometrically, as a difference between two points. Let's say the vector from Q to P. Or, or from two different points, because what matters is not the points, but the difference between them. Now that's only one way to think about vectors. There's a much more algebraic and abstract approach. Vectors are objects that can be added together and rescaled so as to obey certain algebraic laws. I'm not going to go over what those are right now because our approach to vectors is going to be a bit more grounded and explicit in terms of components, that is, changes in each coordinate direction. We're going to fix some set of coordinates in Rn, let's say x and y coordinates in R2, and then we're going to specify vectors in terms of how far you move in each direction. For example, the vector 3, 2 means you move 3 units to the right along the x-axis and 2 units up along the y-axis. In R3, we need 3 coordinates or components to specify that vector that tell us how far to move along the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Now, these components don't need to be uh, integers like we have them here. They could be any numbers, but it is important to get the notation right and stack those components vertically. Now, a bit more on notation. We're often going to um, use a letter with an underline to specify a vector, say v, and we'll specify the components using subscripts v1, v2, all the way up through vn for a vector in Rn. Notice that they are stacked vertically with parentheses around it. Now, from time to time, when we do need to express a vector as a difference between two points, say from q to p, we may write the vector as qp with an arrow on top, but we will always write out the components vertically. I strongly recommend you get in the habit of doing that.